to start with. I have your predictions in my hand here. Uh, are you guys still sticking with them or regretting them? Can I have my piece of paper back, please, Tanya? <laughs> no, you can't do it. <laughs> we will be revealing the predictions by our experts later today. But for now, it's all on Wesley. So he starts with the English Simon once again. Best opening out there. And uh, this is very traditional English. And, and we saw this... Uh, what I can remember about this position in uh, the World Championships in, I think it was 86 in Seville, Kasparov Karpov, they, they played this E5 reverse Sicilian many times, but this is now one of the more main lines, and, and this night retreat has become quite a trendy move. I think Grzyczuk uh, first played it, uh, and it's going to be quite a solid way for Black to, to meet the English Oakley, um, and it's a good dragon for White but a good dragon may still be a bad dragon <laughs> in some cases. No um, such thing as a good dragon. Oh, yeah, maybe a bit of an oxymoron there. Uh, and uh, this position, but it's, it's pretty standard, right, David? I mean, I'm sure you've, you've played this kind of position as well yourself. I think Wesley thinking at this early stage. I must admit, I'm skeptical. I that blows black off the board. This position is actually a very fun one to play. You've got the bishop, kind of like the Catalan bishop, David. You've got a rook coming to c1. Um, we'll just draw some arrows, use our coloring board here, because I think, yeah, the bishop develops, you have the other bishop, you have the rook on c1. These positions are so easy and fun to play for white, so I'm also skeptical. I, I like it as a potential rebound game for Wesley, which he desperately needs, so I think he's off to a good start. Off to a good start, you say that, but he's just burnt about two minutes on the clock. Once again, we see Magnus taking the lead on the clock there after this last move uh, by Magnus. Wesley taking uh, a big think here. This last little pawn move, David, is this uh, something that's new, unfamiliar territory? What's going on? Yeah, I must admit that to me, uh, in this position, if we just backtrack a couple of moves, I've always played this move like back to b6. It just feels like you're getting out of the way. Uh, also, a very popular move has been uh, developed recently, bringing the bishop out. And knight to f6, as Simon said, is trendy. And here, I'm just familiar with bringing the bishop out. I think Magnus, maybe, again, he's just trying to get Wesley out of preparation. Uh, h6 is a waiting move. It's a useful move. If, for example, White pushes the pawn forward, it takes away this square from uh, White's bishop. But, yeah, it feels like Magnus just playing mind games here. And we should mention to the viewers, okay, a couple more moves have been played, that uh, the dragon is signified by this bishop coming out to g2 and just to show the idea we call it a reverse Sicilian because essentially uh, let's backtrack the whole way very quickly here uh, essentially the dragon or a very similar let's go for the accelerated dragon here a very similar position would be this one branching from the Sicilian where here after bishop to g7 white could for example bring the knight back and we would see something very similar to the game just with reverse colors so white is essentially up a tempo and one move in chess very important so it's always signified by yeah. this bishop on the long diagonal and this pawn structure and how tricky
major pieces, big pieces, the biggest pieces, attacking a naked king. It's not good to be a naked king. You can get arrested, you can get in trouble, well, you just you put your clothes back on, you know? King. You get stories written about well, emperors yeah, and so. no clothes and that kind of thing. I don't think Prince Charles, well, not Prince, <laughs> King Charles will try this, but like, uh, no, no, but yeah, it's it, it's just too exposed, isn't it, this king, I, I feel, and uh, you're going to have to, maybe, can you play this E4 move again? He doesn't play it. He's it's trying to bring three. his pieces back, but... It, it's funny, though, because I still don't see the mate, Simon, and one of the funny things about this is the queen and knight are really pesky, and I just want to highlight that while E4 maybe didn't work there, if, if black misses up just one move, that white king is going to run into the middle of the board, and he already has a defender waiting for him. The knight is so pesky when it comes to eliminating the opponent's check. So this is this is an eval bar for, for Magnus to take, but I feel like the position is more complex than that, just, I, I, than that does credit, right? I feel like this is a little bit harder for Magnus to convert than first, because I mean, find the knockout block. Like, I don't have an engine in front of me. Like, where's Black's win? You've only got one minute 30, even if you're Magnus Carlsen, to find the knockout blow here. I agree. It's not It's not that simple. I mean, uh, you've got many moves which you have. This is where calculation is so important. This is why you train the puzzle rush. This is why you train your puzzles so you can work these things out uh, quickly, because you, you check with the rook, and you, I think this is the right way of doing it, because you force the king into a more exposed situation. Now I'm thinking to bring the queen over, but you have to calculate this right, David. I mean, ooh. Uh, okay, wow. By the way, he's giving up the F7 pawn, ooh, but, but it would be made if you go for it. Uh, we can show that if we want, because it's queen c1 first, and then queen d1. You have to keep the king in the cage. Is, it, is that just the end? Queen, queen c1 and I queen think. d1. Is, it, is that literally just as simple as that? Rook b1, there's no move. It's oh, wait, that was it. Yeah, that was play, it. I didn't realize you can't play queen c2, because queen just, c1's made. I think it's just as simple as that. Yeah, there's nothing. Wesley's shaking his head. That's, and that's it. going to resign. Yeah. And if Magnus wins this, he takes a two-point lead. He'll need a draw to become champion of the aim chess rapid. And it looks like the only good move that Wesley has here is hit the button. Just resign. <laughs> I think he, he has to resign and it's just the Magnus show today, isn't it? I Seven mean, seconds. Uh, would you Six. fight on? Would you give up the queen for the rook and try and set up a fortress with the king, knight and pawns? It's me to one. Me. Love me. Oh. And that's it. Wow. Magnus Carlsen with the black pieces delivers checkmate.